In this video, I will go through the worked answer for our variable mass system question. If you didn't get particularly far in this question, please don't feel even the least bit bad. This is the first time you've seen any questions of this type. If you did get a bit further, well, congratulations. In this video, I'll go through the answer to the rocket question. If you didn't get particularly far without hints, or you didn't get particularly far after the hints, I wouldn't feel even a little bit worried. This is the first time that you've seen a question of this type, and the more you practice these kinds of questions, the easier it will become. If you did get reasonably far with this question, or if you even solved this question, congratulations. So we have our diagram and variables, and we know what we're looking for. The next question is what do we use? So which equations are going to be useful for us here? And we're given three variables. We're given mass and velocity, and we're given the initial and final states of a system. So to me, that is a clue that I will be looking for the conservation of momentum. I know the initial momentum of my system is equal to the total mass times the velocity. And the momentum of my system in its final state is equal to the changed mass of my rocket times the changed velocity of my rocket, so the final mass and final velocity of the rocket, plus the final mass and the final velocity of the fuel. Note that the velocity of the fuel is negative because of how I've defined it. So at this point, we have an equation. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to simplify this equation to answer the question. The question is asking us for the acceleration of the rocket and we have an equation with the velocity of the rocket, with the initial and final velocities of the rocket, but there is also a term in there with the velocity of the fuel, which is not helpful for us. So at this stage, what we would be looking to do is to rewrite the velocity of the fuel in terms of the velocity of the rocket. And one way to do that is to write an expression for the velocity of the rocket relative to the velocity of the fuel. And we know how to do that. We know the velocity of the rocket relative to the fuel is equal to the velocity of the rocket minus the velocity of the fuel. And if you've forgotten that, I would suggest you go back and review relative motion. Once we do that, we're looking for an expression for the velocity of the fuel. So I just rearrange. And then I can substitute that expression back into my original equation. And now I have an equation that is all in terms of the velocity of my rocket which is good because I'm trying to find the acceleration of my rocket. It also turns out that this equation simplifies down to a very nice equation. So we want the acceleration of our rocket and that's not currently in this equation. But we know that the acceleration is equal to the rate of change of the velocity. So if we divide through this equation by, del by dt, uh, then we have an expression for the acceleration and it's in terms of the rate of change of the mass as we were asked. So we rearrange that equation and we've answered part one of the question. In part two, we're asked to find the change in the velocity between the initial and final times. So I'm going to look through my working to find an equation that gives me something to do with the change in velocity. And it's this one here. So in this equation, I have that a small change in the velocity is related to a small change in the mass. So I'm going to rearrange my equation to make this change in the velocity of the subject because it's what I'm looking for. And now all that remains for me to do is to, is to find the change, this change in velocity dv over the time period t final to t initial. And I can do that by integrating. And when I solve that integral, I find my expression for the change in velocity is equal to v rel times the log of the initial mass over the final mass. And these two equations that we have derived for the acceleration and the change in the velocity of the rocket, these are your general equations to solve any problem to do with variable mass systems. 